Hey, Robbie. I'm in a high traffic area, so uh, there'll be extraneous noise. I told you I'd send you uh, some information on the stoves I use. This uh, first one is pretty obvious. It is by far the most useful. I gave it to my son when he went off to college. He gave it back to me after using it a couple of times. It's very, very practical, easy to clean. Parts are available to keep it going. I keep it outside in the rain. It's, it's probably 12 years old now. The uh, solo stove we talked about comes in a nice little bag. I find this more useful in the car. The bag's got one little problem with it. I stuck it in there hot while uh, we burned the, uh, the sack. But it's made to burn twigs. It's a little hobo stove. And believe it or not, cast iron pan that big, you can fry bacon on it. Just drop the twigs in. Just want to stick little twigs in there, or you can pick it up and drop things in it. It also comes, uh, it may be an option now, I don't know, with the best fire screen I have ever owned. It is, I've probably used this 10 times. It doesn't have a mark on it. You wrap it around the, the stove like such. It's got some little things to stick in the ground, hold it in place. And it's big enough for your 12 inch fan. Works great. The, uh, this actually beats my numerous hobo stoves. I close up inside. I hope the camera's still running. Yes, it is. It's a little grid. And it really burns very clean and with very little smoke. It's a favorite for backpacking. You know, if I were going to do backpacking anymore. I did mention the cob stove. This is the cob. I have used it, I guess, 30 or 40 times over. Probably 15 years, I should say. I got it shortly after taking a job in White Oak. I met a guy from Australia on Twitter. I highly recommend it. And it is a good unit. I won't speak against it. See how clean the top is? Guess why that is. <laughs> I did drop it and dent it. I have used it. It was just as clean inside at one time. This comes with a, uh, a pointed, like almost a funnel shaped grill which is good for grilling little birds and that sort of thing. But you can't put a pan on it because it rocks. You turn it over, it doesn't work right. So I just got rid of it. And I use a grill like this that I have for it. I don't have it here. But it comes with this little tool for picking up the and whatnot. This is a good unit. You can see the, uh, the screen inside. There's plenty, plenty air foam flow. This burns very clean as well, but pans don't fit on it. You got to carry an extra piece with it. If you're cooking for a lot of people, it's okay. They sell a special coal that they like to put in there, and that's where the air is right there. So this is the the burning area. I filled it up with coals and that kind of thing to get hotter fires, and I, I just I didn't fall in love with it. I did not fall in love with it. You're welcome. Long-term borrowing, if you want. But those are my options. You can get those little barbecue pits now. It's not quite that quality, but you can get them decent quality for 10, 12 bucks. All right. There's your video. See you later.